more solemn than celebratory vibe, as you might imagine tonight at Joe's Bar on Weed Street. CBS 2 Sarah Maki is live for us there with how fans are handling the end of the road, Sarah. Well, Chris, of course, it started with so much optimism, but after the Illini started to fall far behind in the second half, those high hopes gave way to the realization that it would be at least another year. It's been nearly 20 years since the University of Illinois men's team made it through the Elite Eight. Some fans ready to relive the experience back in the same space two decades later. I'm hoping to see a repeat of the 2005 Elite Eight game, uh, which my buddy and I were here for 19 years ago. The fans came with their good luck charms. I keep wearing this sweatshirt without washing it, and these jeans have not been washed in a long time, so we're going to keep wearing those. Others with a simpler strategy. Just watch and pray. <laughs> a University of Illinois alumni favorite, fans packed into Joe's Bar on Weed Street. More than a thousand of them before tip off. The Illini sinking a series of threes, but never pulling ahead. After the half, the smiles turned. Fans cringing over missed opportunities, hands up on their heads, over their open mouths, some people already out the door. The game ended with few eyes on the screen. But these fans loyal to the team that took them this far. To get this far, it's just been fun. It's been a fun year, and I hope that this happens every year from right here on out. You remember the fan, Bobby, who brought his lucky outfit with him here tonight? Well, I had to ask him if he had any plans to maybe throw it in the laundry, seemingly washing away this lots, but he gave me a very firm no, because he said that they will be back next year. In Goose Island, Sarah Bucky, CBS 2 News. Okay, Sarah, thanks very much.